Hi everyone, my name is Matias Biel. I'm co-founder and CEO at Bflow. At Bflow, we are increasing crop yields by providing the next generation of bee pollination to farmers. Did you know that more than 70% of global crops depend on bee pollination to produce fruits and seeds? Without bees, we wouldn't have avocados, cherries, almonds, and blueberries, among other fruits. These are blueberry flowers, and they need that bees transport pollen from the male part of the flower to the female one in order to develop a fruit. More pollen being deposited in a flower means more seeds, and more seeds means bigger fruits. This means there is a strong relation between bee pollination and crop yields. Since Green Revolution, we focus mainly on fertilizers, pesticides, irrigation systems, and plant genetics to increase yields. However, today, these technologies are increasing just between 2 and 5% yields, while we are expecting that food demand will increase 70% by 2050. So the question is, how are we going to guarantee food security for future generations with current solutions? At Bifilo, we consider the agriculture industry has forgotten one of the most important topics in plant biology, bee pollination. The bee pollination industry has remained the same for the past century. Farmers are renting beehives from beekeepers to pollinate their crops in the same way they did decades ago. There hasn't been any innovations or technologies applied to bee pollination in order to increase crop yields with bees. At Bflow, we are changing this reality. By understanding bees' biology and how they interact with flowers, we are developing strong and smart bees for crop pollination. To do so, we feed our bees with organic molecules compounds to enhance their immune system and make them work more hours, even under cold weather. Also, we train them to pollinate specific target crops. By feeding them with organic molecules compounds in blueberry fields, for example, we can make them focus exclusively on blueberry flowers instead of getting distracted by other flowers. <laughs> Lastly, we place beehives in strategic locations. We do so to ensure that all the trees in the field get the amount of pollen they need to maximize its production. This is a topic ignored by traditional beekeepers. Since we started working two years ago in Argentina, we decided to perform several experiments to measure the impact of these technologies in crop yields. After working with nine of the largest farmers in almonds, blueberries, apples, and kiwis, we have increased between 20 to 90% crop yields. Yes, you heard right. 20 to 90% crop yields. Based on these results, we decided to come to California to disrupt the largest almond market in the world, where 80% of the almonds of the world are being produced. In this video, you can see our team working with Harris Wolf Growers, one of the three largest almond farmers in the US. Together, we performed several experiments to measure the impact of our technologies in bee pollination compared to conventional pollination. Today, I can share proudly that we have increased seven times the amount of flights our bees are doing under cold weather. Also, we have increased more than two times the amount of pollen that our bees are carrying. This means a huge impact in bee pollination efficiency. After only two months working in California, we captured the attention of several farmers. Because of this, we started to pre-sell our next season, and we recently signed our first LOI for $52,000 for the next almond season. Also, we are in conversations with Driscoll's, the largest berry grower in the world, to perform several bee pollination projects together. Last but not least, we are scaling up our operations in Argentina with all the farmers I mentioned before. Bflow has a bees-as-a-service business model. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
We provide the next generation of bee pollination services to farmers by developing strong and smart bees. To do so, we feed our bees with our molecules and place beehives strategically in the field. During bloom, we are measuring pollination efficiency by understanding the amounts of visits the flowers are getting and how strong bees are working. Once the bloom is over, we get paid by the farmer and we move our beehives to the next crop. We charge farmers $400 in average per acre plus 20% revenue share on increased yields. To give you an example on our unit economics, with 1,000 beehives, we can work with several crops in a season. We can start with blueberries, then move to almonds, and then end with cherries. And we can generate almost $700,000 in a season, with 70% of margins. Based on this information, and considering that acres of crops that depend on bee pollination have increased three times over the past 50 years, we are targeting a global potential market of $10 billion. Our next milestones are building our headquarters and operations in California to get ready for the next season, starting this December. Also, increase our revenue and customer relationships within the US and Argentina. Lastly, expand our scientific knowledge to pollination of new crops, like alfalfa or avocados, and into new bee species, like bumblebees. None of all this could be generated without the great team that we built. About myself, I have a business background and a strong entrepreneurial experience in Latin America. Dr. Pedro Neri has a PhD on bees immune system, and Dr. Agustin Saez has a PhD on bee pollination. Both of them have almost 20 years of experience combined in the field. To accomplish our milestones, we are raising $3 million in our seed round. We welcome you to join us and generate together a huge impact in food production. Thank you.